Hi. Hello team, this um, is going to be our first video that I want to I want you guys to watch uh, in regards to Kinzer slash Wellsky. Uh, I'm going to use Kinzer in most of these videos, but just know that Wellsky bought Kinzer out. Um, so you will see Wellsky's uh, insignia or logo over these pages. So just know that they're one and the same. Uh, we are transitioning from Devero to Kinzer on November 1st. A lot of reasons for this, um, but let me just give you kind of a, a breakdown on what we're thinking moving forward. So everybody currently on services right now will remain in Devero. We're not going to switch them over to Kinzer. Uh, only new patients that are coming on uh, November 1st will be done in Kinzer. So we're going to keep Tiger Text, and they're going to all the threads in Tiger Text will will keep with the patients to kind of help delineate who's in which system. We don't want to confuse systems, so just know that for the next few months, uh, until everyone is either discharged or we are, are up for research on our patients in Devero, we're going to keep that system, and we're going to continue to chart on those particular patients in Devero. So um, keep your Tiger Text app, keep, keep Devero, and then just know new patients will, will use the Lua texting app um, and Kinzer. So it's going to be, uh, might be a little bit difficult right up front, uh, but hopefully separating the current patients and the new patients in both the systems uh, will be easier than it is hard. Um, so we are moving to Kinzer for, um, like I said, various reasons. One of the main reasons is, is that uh, they are very compliant with all of the ongoing uh, Medicare uh, updates to their regulations and their COPs. Uh, this is very important when it comes to audits that they, that they give. Um, compliance is huge. It can make or break you. So. Uh, one of the reasons we wanted to go to Kinzer is is to be more compliant and and uh, make sure that we are doing the things that we need to be doing um, in Medicare's eyes to continue, um, you know, with being able to see Medicare patients for home home health. It really is the bread and butter of home health. So. Another reason that we've switched to Kinzer is uh, on the back end. There's a lot, um, there's a lot more capability to run reports, uh, track schedules, track uh, visits, um, which also does lead um, to better management and compliancy. So their their customer service is another reason. Uh, great customer service. There's various options to access customer service. Uh, you can do it within a form right then and there. There's a call me button you can you can hit and they'll call you within 30 minutes. You can ask a question. So I've been really impressed uh, in the short time that I've been messing around with Kinzer, and I've had questions or issues. I've been able to call and they've gotten back with me really quickly. There's webinars you can view, um, videos. So um, you do have those options to get in and help walk you through as you learn the system. It will be a transition for sure. Uh, just know that right up front. I found that in the last couple of weeks working in, in the system, it's gotten easier to use. So I think it's just gonna, like anything else, come with time. Um, there are a few things that will be different. Uh, scheduling will be one of those things, and we'll do a video on that for you so you know what we're talking about there. Uh, the start of care form for the nurses, uh, the appearance is different, but you have the same questions. There are some differences um, on the non-Medicare uh, items. Your, your plan of care will be built with goals and interventions page by page instead of all at the end, so that's, that's good but um, there's a big difference on goals and interventions that right up front uh, might be a little more time consuming. However, it's, it, it will keep us compliant with what Medicare wants to see with more individualized care plans. Um, this is one of their big pushes is that uh, we can't have generalized care plans and we have to show each and every visit exactly what we're doing intervention wise to reach the goals that we've set for the patient. 
These patients have got to have um, obtainable goals, um, and we want to try and reach those goals within the first, first, second to third cert. Um, if we're not able to reach the same goals by cert number three or episode number three, then the goals are probably not attainable. And then they'll start asking, why are you keeping the same goals? You need to switch these goals up. Home health is, is really probably 90% based off of a short term um, service. They want us to get in there and teach the, the patient if, if able, teach the caregiver if able to perform the skilled service. Um, and of course they have to be eligible for uh, in-home care being homebound. So there are there are different um, cases where a patient will be on long term, but what really justifies that is going to be our documentation. So it's going to be important to to be a little more specific with that documentation to each and every patient. So anyway, um, let's get into some orientation of, of Kinzer. Your, um, your address is going to be um, Kinzer with double N dot net. That'll bring you to your login page. Okay. Again, there's Wellsky, same, same company. So no worries there. Everyone's username will be their first initial with their last name. Okay. Dot TKHR total knee and hip rehab. Your initial password will be one through nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That'll get you in to your, um, welcome screen at that point. First thing you want to do once you're to your welcome screen is go up to your go to tab here and you want to go to your profile, change your password, get that updated, put in all your demographics. It'll ask you some security questions that um, you'll need. If you do forget your password, you can answer those questions. Then they will send you a password reset email at that point. So go in and fill that profile out. Um, Again, this is going to be the opening page. This is all K-mail or email communication given by, by Kinzer himself, themselves or given by other clinicians. Um, so you can choose to use the email system if you like. We do have Lua and I'll do a video on that. That's typically what we are going to be using for the most part with our communication between um, clinicians on patient issues. Um, so your go-to tab again will look a little different than mine, but it's going to be where you're going to spend most of your time. Hotbox is really the place you want to be. Th this will show you all tasks assigned to you um, and the dates that they were assigned, okay, or the dates that they um, are due. So this particular patient, and you can filter by um, patient. So all of Betty Sue stuff with all the dates will come up and then all of Mr. Smith stuff and then all of so, so and so stuff will come up. So however you want to filter that out, you can choose, but this is how you're gonna access the tasks. And the tasks are simply the forms that need to be filled out on certain days. These dates can be changed each and every week by you or by the scheduler. I'll review um, all of that in the scheduling video. Um, if you're not able to do one of these visits or the patient cancels on you, you have a quick option to come over here and do a missed visit form. I won't click on that, but that's what that is. Um, so this is where you're going to spend most of your time knowing when things are due on which patients. So once you, once you uh, are, are here, you can start working on the patient's forms just by clicking on the form and you can rock and roll with that, okay? Uh, my patients, you'll have that option. That's just gonna be a list of your patients as the clinician that's assigned. It'll give you the patient name, the episode from start of care date to end of cert, uh, the case manager, which is gonna be the nurse, um, you click on the patient's name and it will get you into the patient's chart. So once I do that, now I'm fully in the patient's chart. So this is a little different view than what we're used to. Episode manager is what it's called. Um, if there's various episodes, you will have, um, little arrows that you can scroll through episodes here on this bar. Um, this is again, the schedule, uh, from start of care to end of cert. 
we'll review that uh, on the scheduling video. Uh, but each, each clinician or each discipline will have tabs. So this is the nursing tab. All therapies will group PT, OT, and speech. Then go into the individual therapies and see who's assigned, see what their target dates are, what they're going to be doing. Um, once these are filled out and done, you can, you can view those. Um, you have a home health aid tab, uh, social work orders. You'll have uploaded orders um, with or face-to-faces or 45s, plans of care that have come back. We'll upload to that to that tab. Communication, if there's any communication done within Kinzer itself, we will upload that to this tab. We will not be uploading Lua, and I'll talk more about that in the Lua video, but all of our texting communication, there's not a time date uh, stamp on it. It doesn't expire. So we're gonna keep it all in the thread we won't be uploading that stuff to the chart like we did in Vero. Miscellaneous tab is going to be um, any pictures that you are taking, any forms that you're signing. Uh, two changes, nurses, to be aware of. Um, some of you are already doing uh, part of this. On the inside of the admission packet, there's a table of contents. Uh, you need to have the patient sign at the bottom of that page and take a picture of that on the Lua, on their Lua thread and send that in. That is um, that is uh, meeting a Medicare um, COP that we've given the patient their rights and responsibilities in that admission packet, and they are aware of those and they've signed off on them. That's how we're going to capture uh, that we've done that. And there's also the um, a lot of the uh, initial forms that we've been pulling up into Vero and having the patient sign, such as the ABN, Medicare Secondary Payer, NOMNOC, those are all hard copied in that um, uh, in the admission packet as well. So here's, here's another change. Um, we don't have access to, to the digital consent forms at this point in Kinzer. So what we're going to do is we're going to have you find page 48 on or in the admission packet Page 48 is the uh, consent to treat, okay? Um, it'll look familiar to you because it's the exact same form you've been using digitally, um, but you'll have to have the patient sign that form and take a picture of that form and send that in via their Lua text uh, thread as well, okay? So those are the two things that we'll have to have hard copy signed by the patient and take pictures of and send in. Nomnoc, ABN, as long as they're signing that uh, the inside of the initial page, we're good on those, okay? You also have the HHCCN form uh, at the back of the, of the packet that we'll be using if we're gonna discharge um, prematurely before their CERT has ended. So just be aware that um, if you want an HHCCN form, it's not gonna be digital as well. It'll also be hard copy. So you'll have to have them sign that and get a picture of that and send that into the office with the field out. So a few changes, a little more, little more work. We are working on getting things uploaded or um, in a digital format to be able to access. I'm not sure if, if and when that's gonna happen. So we'll keep you posted. So that's gonna be this tab here. Um, so I'll, I'll talk, I'll walk you through when we do the scheduling video. Um, how to ask, access tasks, how to change dates, um, what all this stuff means. So stay tuned for that. Um, your go-to, you, you're not going to have most of this stuff on yours. So really the hot box, my patient, um, your inboxes, your uh, KML, those are the things you're going to be bouncing back and forth in between. The next thing is your, is your new file. Uh, your file new tab you can do new message new order uh, if there's a new infection uh, a new communication note or a prn visit um, all this stuff you will have access to as well so these two tabs really are, are what you're going to be using most of the time you can edit your forms once you're in the form so you can mess around with that um, you can view um, the different episodes of the patient. So once you get in here, mess around with these tabs, see what they do. I won't bore you with all of the going through them all. Um, but once you once you get used to this 
actual um, system, it actually is not too bad.